Everybody should be able to hear me now. Can you all hear me now? <laughs> Thank you, Roberto. Right, okay, guys. Fantastic. You can all hear me. We can hear me. I don't know what was going on. I actually restarted my whole computer, and I still don't know. So I'm just going to make Mr. Sims, bring Mr. Sims in. Mr. Sims, can you confirm which one you've got? Oh, because I've got Mr. Sims and Mr. Sims 1. But guys, you know what to do. Head over to Glitch, please, for me. ASAP, have your code. Make sure, I hope that you were checking out your code problems, mistakes, anything in your code, and looking at your website and making sure everything's okay. Well done. I'm Mr. Sims. Okay, so that's Mr. Sims 1. Okay. So it's not that one, Mr. Sims. Okay, make presenter. There we are. That's Mr. Sims there. Okay, guys. So over to Glitch. I'm going to share my screen so you can see. So you make sure that you're over at Glitch. I think there's a button. There is not a button because obviously I've had to reset everything. Sorry about that. I hope you don't mind. That was 10 minutes of our time lost, which is not good. So we're going to do one thing that on the code, and then we're going to move to Kahoot, okay? So guys, what we? how did you – um, actually, do you know what? I'm going to check all your code, and then we'll move on to Kahoot. How about that? We'll do that today. So because I'm sure there was a – please show me the code to add peak. It's gone. Okay, no problem. So what I'm going to do – Okay, you need to make sure that you can that you have this fish button in the top right hand corner. Please show me the code to add pick. No problem, no problem, no problem. But don't need you don't need to spam the chat. No problem. All right, brilliant. Okay, guys. So let's go over to our code. I'm going to open this login. Okay, and a couple of you want to see uh, some of the. Which one was it? A couple of you want to see some codes. No problem. I think the image code was one of the most tricky ones. So let's go over that as well. Okay. How about that? All right. I'm going to copy and paste that code and put that on the chat so you guys can see it all. So here is that code. But I am going to do it with you at the same time. I'm going to do it in some couple of people's websites as well. Okay. So there's the code for the image. Remember, you have to change what is in the, what is in the blue writing. So you can should be able to see blue writing inside there. You need to change that to your correct one, okay? So let's have a look at Ignacio's. Fantastic. Looks great. And I'm just going to share this screen for Ignacio's one, which is this one here. Okay, let's have a look at your code, Ignacio. Really good. Very good. I did that code yesterday, didn't I? Is that right? Oh, no, I can't edit it. Remix to edit. Yeah. Um, can somebody tell me? Someone gave me a thank you. I don't know who did that. Do you know on on, uh, on, code, on code emoji? What am I talking about, code emoji? What line is it? No problem, uh, Roberto. The 23 on mine. But, Roberto, send me your link, and we'll look at yours specifically. But everything seems fine there. Um, whose is this one? Yeah, uh, Ignacio. What what I do want to do uh, after I've checked everyone's website is obviously put a border there as well. But as you can see, what I do want to do today, guys, is if we can if we can get enough time to, is I want to create our center uh, in um, our center in CSS. Okay, so that we can start to center it. Okay, but let me have a look at a few other websites, make sure everyone's on the same page, and then we'll start centering. Okay, so this is great, Simona. Uh, were you here yesterday, Simona? Simona, were you here yesterday? Let me know in the chat, please. No, okay, that makes sense then. Okay, guys, so Simona, let's have a look at yours. So, what you need to do, Simona, is you need to provide put get, you need to put a background code so if you look here i'm sure you remember how to do it to be honest with you simona so i can see that we're both on the code right now and um if you look at my page here let's just get rid of that virus protection if you look at my page here on your page sorry line five you're going to press enter and then get to down to line six so press enter on line five at the end of line five please simona and anyone else who needs to put the background color in here this is what you need to do uh, no problem, guys. I'm going to have a look at your oh, everyone's code now. No problem. Right. If you can type background for me, Simona, that's B-A-C-K-G-R-O-U-N-D dash color. Can you see Simona's typing it at the as we go along right now? And someone, I don't know who Secret A is. Panda. I'm guessing that's Andrew. 
Uh, color in the American. So take the U out, please. Thank you. Let's do a colon. Lovely. And then whatever color space, whatever color you want, you could do powder blue, you could do yellow, you could whatever you want, red, light red, for example. Whatever color you would like. No problem at all. Uh, Simona, <laughs> are you still choosing a color? No problem, uh, Kalina. We'll have a look. Are you thinking of a color? Okay. Oh, that's Ignacio. Thank you, Ignacio. And I'm going to open up um, Olamides at the same time. All right. So, Olamides, your image isn't working. So, I'm going to come as soon as. Um, okay. Well, uh, Simona, I think you know what to do to finish off to put the code for the color. So, I'm going to quickly move on to Olamides because I've got Olamides and Roberto who are wondering about the uh, code for the image. Okay. So, um, what I'm going to I'm going to show you here, Olamidi, and if you look at my uh, screen share for one second, and then I want you to go and do it, and the same for yourself, um, Roberto. So as you can see here, um, Olamidi, I remember I wanted you to click after the equals. So make sure if you can see on mine, it goes after the equals. So you got open bracket img space src equals, and then I just want you to click after that equals in there, so it's so it's really clear. Once you've clicked in there. You need to go to assets, take your image and copy it over here. Can you see the copy? So I'm going to do that one more time. So once, you're, uh, once you've clicked in there, you want to go back to assets, guys. If you have anyone else who's got issues with their image, go to assets, click on the image, then it will come up with this. I want you to copy that information. So there's a copy button there. So click copy. And then... Um, on a media, I want you to copy and paste that into the middle of that. So, for example, on a media, what I'm going to do for you quickly. Oh, well done. Some guys have put some code there anyway. So there you go. All right. So actually, on a media, what I am actually going to do is I'm going to where is it? I'm going to put you, I'm going to put your code in there for you, and you can copy and paste it. But I would like if you could um, let me just change that one second one second i'm going to pop the mic down for one moment on a movie did you do it have you finished it is doggo cat floofy is that um I can check here, can I? Yeah, that's so. This one is Comet Health, and that is myself and Olamidi. Yep. So Olamidi, uh, yeah, like I said, I'm gonna copy. I'm gonna do this for you. Actually. I'm gonna remix it. Edit. Double check it and make sure it's correct. Okay, Olamidi. I'm just gonna turn the microphone off one second, guys. Okay, I'm just gonna moderate the chat for now, guys, so I can see your things, and then anything that's important can come through to the chat. Thank you. Okay, so what I'm going to do is, Olamidi, what you can do is I want you to copy the text that's at the top of the, at the, at the chat. Okay, copy that text and then highlight and I want you to paste that into line 23. Can you do that for me now, please, Olamidi? Okay. Three minutes, guys, and then we're going to move on to a Kahoot. We didn't do this Kahoot yesterday. How are we doing? Thank you and thank you. Lovely. Okay. So, Olamidi, I want you to take that text that's in the chat at the top, that's pinned to the chat, and I want you to copy and paste it in there. Once you've done that, get back to me, okay? Let's move on to the next one for now. Whose is this? This is, I think, is Sasha's. We're about to find out scratched yet yeah. this one okay whose is this one i think is that sasha's no i don't think it is sasha's whose is this one let me know yeah i think it is sasha's it is yours isn't it sasha yes so sasha what you need to do it's not too bad actually i think you're pretty much good sasha now 
Yeah, I think you're pretty much good. The one thing I would say, Sasha, what you need to do is um, I don't know why your code here is not correct, but your image code, there's something missing. Have we opened body, but we haven't closed body? Oh, we have opened body and closed it. There's something missing from your code. Head, have we opened head? Yes, we've opened head, closed head, opened body, closed body, no problem there. I'm really confused as to what's wrong with your code, to be honest with you. I mean, it's working, but it's not in the correct format. Ah, I think I found it. There it is. After the seven. Okay, I'm going to edit this myself because it's quite a finicky one for you. So, brainy apricot, which is Sasha. Let's wait patiently. Here we are. It's going to come up now. And then who else has we got? Are we check? Let's, uh, Kalina. I need to check yours, Kalina. And who else are we going to check? Who else would? Well done, Alamidi. One second, Alamidi. I'm going to come back to you. Yes, that's look better. That's look that, that that looks much better now, Sasha. Your code looks much better. So, Sasha, yours is fine. Yours is fine. We're going to move on to a, another bit tomorrow. Obviously, sorry about the uh, microphone issue. That's kind of taking a bit of our time away, to be honest with you guys. But um, what we're going to do? Let's have a look at everyone else. Uh, Kalina, let's check Kalina's quickly. Guys, can you start heading over to Kahoot.it for me, please? Let's have a look at Kalina's. Kalina, that looks great. Don't think anything's wrong with that one. Let's check your code. Fantastic. Really good, Kalina. I've seen that you've done some extra work on there, which is really good. And you're understanding the unordered list. And have you understood the image? There's one problem. Uh, I'm going to quickly do that for you now, Kalina, because it's quite a, sim it's a, a simple one. But Kalina, please do look at it. And this was the same issue for Sasha, actually. So I'm just going to... Do you know what I'm going to want you to do? actually i'm gonna add so cleaner the only issue with yours is so guys check this out so look here so you've got img source equals speech mark then the code of the image which you've taken from assets here so which the code of the image but what you do need to finish off guys is remember your code for your image or your image source needs to be in speech marks so the speech mark is here and then i want another speech mark sorry i'll just drag it across should be before class so i'm going to put another speech mark there press space and that code would have fixed itself nicely as you can see kalina this code was uh, red before now it's turned to the correct color blue and it's got the correct indentation okay i am i can see guys that i'm going to need to what we're going to do yes yeah, so everyone else has checked haven't they Oh, Roberto. Let's have a look at quickly the Roberto's. Let's look at Roberto's, then we're going to head over to Kahoot. That's not Roberto's. Sorry, wrong one. You know me, guys. Too many tabs. It is Roberto's one. Where's Roberto's one? There it is, the dog diary. Oh, yeah, Roberto, what you need to do and it's kind of the same for you, but you haven't done the image source. What you need to do, you've lost the image. Yeah, don't forget the image, guys. Uh, what you need to do is, let's just share Roberto's. You need to, when you're in editor, can you give me the link to the, at this, when you're in editor at the top here? So in your, when you go to the editor, uh, Roberto, can you take me, can you pass me that link that's, that you have in the editor, not the one that is showing your website? Because unfortunately, you've deleted the button that allows me to check your code for you. Okay. Let's check this one whilst we're waiting. And I have a, it should do that, Kalina. But remember, guys, we're checking everything that we, I didn't change the color of mine. Let's have a look at this quickly. Guys, I hope we have enough time. Who's 
said that they didn't change the colour. Is it Kalina? Oh, this is George's. George's, yours is. I, I checked. I've had, I've had yours on my computer all week. To be honest, uh, since yesterday, and to be honest, Georgia, I am very impressed with your work. I'm not going to lie. It's very good, Georgia. Very impressed. Very good. You, you're, you seem like you have a bit of a knack for um, front end development. Uh, and Olamidi, last but not least, then then we're going to head straight over to Kahoot, guys. And then, sorry, tomorrow, I mean, tomorrow I'll go over them again. Let me just load up Olamides. So let's just quickly check Olamides. I can see what I need to do, though, guys. I can see where we need to f improve, which is fine. So Olamidi, yeah, the one thing you need to do Olamidi, watch my screen right now, and this is the one thing that you need to do now, is you need to highlight all of this that's in the speech marks, your image source, the file of your image source, delete it, okay, go to assets, click on your image like I was showing you before, copy, and then paste that in between those two speech marks there. Once you do that, your image will appear, okay? So just you need to change this in between the speech marks. But we're going to go over that a little bit now because I can see, guys, that we just want to double check. We just need to double check a couple of those things. Give me one minute while I set up your Kahoot. And let me see if I can find any other quick questions. Give me a second, guys. I'm just going to go, go over to Kahoot.it and start putting in your – I'll give you the code in two seconds, guys. I know you're probably waiting for the code impatiently as per usual. Requires the old attribute accessibility source file. Fantastic. Okay. Let's just add that one. We're going to add these couple of questions, guys, because I really want to focus on our image source because I think you guys – what you need to do – is understand what the image text what the image code is doing okay and once you understand it you'll be able to correct it correctly all right let's leave it there and let's play this kahoot and here's the numbers right away stop that one stop that one here we go here is the it's that one. There we are. It's 1530352. I really want us to focus on I'm gonna take the moderation off, guys, but please be um please be mindful because I need to talk to you. I want to have a conversation. Don't talk at me, talk to me. With me. Well done, Kalina. First one in. Then cap. I don't know who forward slash is. They're good. Good, good, good. Yeah, guys, we need to know what the image source code is doing, okay? Brilliant, okay. Image source code, open bracket, IMG, image, SRC. That is the image. We're wanting the picture to come in there, and we're looking for the source. Equals, so it's IMG, SRC, equals, then speech marks, then the file, file path, where you find the file. Close those brackets, close those speech marks. I'm going to do this while everybody's lo logging in. Yeah. And then remember we've got to close that with an IMG source. Yeah. <laughs> Funny one, Simona. Good. But not bad. Not bad. Not bad at all. Can you hear me now, guys? Can you still hear me? Can everybody hear me? Give me a chat if you let me know if you can hear me. Give me a why. Yep, perfect. So it's uh 
Georgia, that might be a problem on your computer specifically, but what's the point of saying that? Because you can't hear me anyway. Fantastic. Let's start the Kahoot right now. Here we go. There's a lot of questions in there. Mr. Sims, whenever you're ready, I'm going to stop the Kahoot, okay? So I'll probably do it five past eight. I mean, five past five, sorry. Which character is used to indicate an end tag? You know this. Yeah, sorry about the um, run over time, guys, and the sound issues. What we'll do is tomorrow I'll go through them a little bit. We'll go through it a little bit more in detail and we'll crack on because obviously with the audio issues, we will probably have to um, we have to move a little bit fast. Well done, guys. Amazing. Don't expect anything less from you guys. Maiden. Which of these CSS statements will change the color of the font? Look at the color. Which one changed the color of the font? I want you to understand the 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 um, syntax, the language of CSS, the syntax. Remember, syntax means language. I want you to learn the syntax. That's right, free. If you got it right, it's not font dash color red. It's color colon red semicolon. Oh, Mr. Sims, lemon winners, Kalina, cat, woof woof. What does this tag start? What does it start? Does it start image sound, image site, image source, or image sacrifice? What does the tag IMG SRC start? We need to hammer down on that code there. Okay. Good. Well done, guys. I want to see a lot more response. I want to see a lot more response on that when we come back to it next week. What does this tag mean? You guys have all done that. It's an unordered list, ordered list, new line, underline. You've all done this. Okay. I guess I'm going to close the chat. I'll moderate it. Wait, what is the web of the thing we did today at school? <laughs> Sasha, you stop spamming and I'll tell you. <laughs> well done. Oh, guys, come on. Not happy with that. Oh, my bad. It is an ordered list. <laughs> I thought I changed that. Did I not change that? Sorry. I know it's unfair. What will the background color of body based on this CSS code? Look at the CSS code. What will the background color be? Look at it. Will it be white, cornflower blue, black, or chartreuse? What will it be, guys? The background color. Yes, it will be white. Well done, two of you. Very good. Mr. Sims Kalina. What is the correct HTML tag for inserting a line break? Is it BR, BR closed, BR, or break? So you want to make a break in your code. Can any, yes. Uh, sorry, I'm just helping out Georgia, guys. One second. She has an issue with her computer. Okay, guys, brilliant. Line break. No change there. Let's move on. What is the correct CSS for adding a background color? Go. You guys know this. I am not giving you any clues. This is something that you guys have been doing for a while now. Good. Easy. Please don't moderate. Wait, what is the web thing? Yes, Sasha. No problem. I'll tell you at the end of the lesson. Remind me, Sasha, to give you the website. What does this tag start? Oh, we did this already, didn't we? But make sure. Oh, so I want to make it. Good. Good. Well done. Good. Let's move on to the next one. Which is correct? Which is the correct one? Which doc type is it? Am ampersand, exclamation, exclamation, forward slash exclamation. Which doc type are we doing? Oh, guys, can I ask you a question? Does it bring up the question on your... Yeah, I really need the answer to this. Does it bring up the question on your thing now, on your screen? It should do. No? 
Cat, can you hear me now? Perfect. Well done. Okay, I'm gonna demoderate it. Let me see how how, how uh, mature you guys. No one can see the questions. Can you see the questions on my screen though? Yeah. Perfect. Okay, cool. As long as we're good. As long as you can see them on mine. Well done, Lemon Winners. Floofy Woofy Woof. Mr. Sims Cleaner and Bear. Image source equals cat.jpg. What will this piece of HTML do? Change the style of the font. Add an image of a cat. Add the word cat to your page or change the alignment. What will that do, guys? And sometimes you don't even need to close the image, as you can see on this one. You know that with HTML5, you don't need to really close anymore. Brilliant, which is a good thing. Add an image of a cat. Good. I'm going to focus on this image source, guys, because I want you to be able to just type it and know what's going on behind it. What is the correct syntax? Remember, I told you today syntax is language. Is it title my website, title forward slash, two forward slashes, uh, forward slash, title, forward slash, title, title my website, backslash. Tittle. Good. Yeah, that's correct. You do need to go from screen to screen to see the questions, guys. I'm sorry about that. But let me tell you something. If you've opened two tabs, right, you know you can hold down control and press tab on your keyboard and it will go between the two tabs. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of people just have a separate phone or iPad or something like that, which makes it much easier. What would this tag give me? A hyperlink, a picture, a banner, a banana. What would this tag do? So it's image source equals banner.png. What will that give you? A banner or a banana? Oh, guys, terrible. See, this is why I want to hammer down on this because we're not doing so well on this one. So we're going to hammer down on this and to make sure that everybody's got it right. So that if I say to you, enter an image into your code, please, you know exactly what I'm asking you to do. Okay, which is the correct one, guys? Which is the correct one? Have a look at it. Oh, look, it's Fogden. Brilliant. Not bad. Fogden and his dad. Okay, guys. Well done. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Bits, wits, robs. Lovely. Choose the correct HTML element for the largest heading. I don't need to tell you that. I. It's so easy. I feel like skipping the question. Choose the correct HTML tag to make a text italic. What do you think it is, guys? I think we did this. I think some of you did this. I'm pretty sure Georgia knows this one. I'm pretty sure Natalia knows this one. Image source equals float.jpg. What does this HTML do? Insert an image called image. Inserts a new paragraph. Inserts an image called float. Inserts a hyperlink. What does it do, guys? What does this code do here? Good. We're getting there. A couple of us are off on the hyperlink and insert an image called image, but we need to, we're, we're getting there. We're getting there. That was a bit of a surprise. So I want you to just get, go a couple more. Choose the correct HTML tag to make the text bold. You know how to make text bold, don't you guys? Real simple. So much so I wish I could just skip it. <laughs> Ignacio, you know how to do that. You know how to bold. Oh, okay. So I'm guessing one of those was a misclick. Yeah, it's strong. You know how to do that, guys. Fluffy, woof, woof. Lemon winners, bear, Kalina, and bits, wits, robs. What does a CSS de de declaration always end with? A colon, comma, full stop, semicolon. Who remembers this? I want to see who remembers. I'm, I'm really looking forward to seeing the... Uh, sorry about that, guys. That's around my nose. I don't know what it was. And uh, I'm really looking forward to seeing the numbers on this one. I want to see if you guys know this one. Uh, 
Majority of you did. That's not too bad. But remember, it always ends with a semicolon, and in the middle, it has a colon. So we still need to focus on that a little bit. This is really good. This is what this one's quite an eye opener now. I'm seeing which characters are used to indicate an opening tag, an opening tag. So the first part you do. So yeah, when you open a tag, what do you do? Do you do forward slash those brackets, this brackets or the blue ones? Which one is it? Which one? Well, I could just say which brackets are for opening tag. Good, Olamidi. Well done. Very good. That's much better, guys. So I'm guessing you're, you're, you're quite confident with your HTML, CSS just a little bit. What is the HTML What is the HTML opening tag? Which one is the correct one, guys? Which one is the correct one for opening a HTML, uh, your opening HTML tag, sorry? Yeah, we probably just need to focus a bit more on the CSS, keep going hard on the CSS. I think some of you are confident with both, but looking at these results we probably need to focus just a bit more so that everyone's on the uh, is fully confident on the css and so that we can um, move forward positively well mr sims two more which is the smaller heading really simple not even the smallest heading out of those two really simple which is the smallest one Uh, yeah, uh, where are we? Sorry, guys. You know what? The truth is I'm actually half in a meeting. Uh, here we go. Let's go. Two more. How can you make a list that lists the items with bullets? We did it today. You've already... Everyone has coded this. Everyone has coded this. Oh, but uh, uh, since Mr. Hines made sure it's the correct one, it is the correct one this time. I think maybe a couple of three of you thought, ah, oh, maybe Mr. Hines hasn't got it, hasn't done the correct answer on this one. I'm going to change that as soon as I finish this. Coup. Sorry about that, guys. Last question: How can you make a list that lists the items with numbers? None of us have done this yet. Maybe some of you have done that in your own time, but we understand what one of the good. Woo! You guys were fast. Okay, let's move forward. So we still need to focus on a few things. I can I see what we need to focus on. Well done, Lemon Winners, 19 out of 23. That's a good chunk. 21 out of 23, Kalina, well done. But in first place, 21 out of 23. With 1,008, Fluffy, woof, woof. Who is Fluffy, woof, woof? Let me know. Bear and Cat, well done, fourth for Bear and Cat, fifth. Well done. Who was Fluffy, woof, woof? That's me. Is that Kalina? Uh, Simona again? Mona's on fire. Natalia, where are you? Come on. You gotta show you gotta stand up for St. Rayfields. Oh, was it Simona? Was it Simona or not? Was that you, Mr. Sims? That did what? Yeah, it was. It was. I thought that was someone in my house. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So so Simona won this time. Okay, I have yet to update that board. Guys, it's been ex very extremely busy. I'm going to try my best to do it right this moment. I said that and I updated the code. Right, guys, let's hand over to Mr. Sims because it's been it's 10 minutes into his lesson. So let's run over to Mr. Sims and let's get over them. Guys, go to – where would you like them to head to, Mr. Sims? Where, what button would you like? Uh, uh, well, put it in the chat, clipchamp.com. Okay. Pin it to the top there. So, guys, let's go to clipchamp.com and um, – yeah, basically, let me share my screen with you quickly. Thank you, Mr. Hines. Um, so, who remembers what we've done last week, guys? Let me know in the chat. Are we all up to the place that we are on my screen? Have we got our green screen in place? And if not, it doesn't matter. But do we know how to do the green screen, guys? Give me a one if it's a yes. Give me a two if I need to go over it again. And also, by the way, are we all cool with logging into KitChamp? Do we all remember? Let me know in the chat quickly, guys. If not, we'll move on. Wicked. One and two. 
BTW is Robbie. Do you need me to show you how to log in on ClipChamp again? Maybe just do it again for argument's sake, guys. So, um, yeah, let's sign out. So, guys, obviously, we're here. We go to sign in. Once we've done that, we go to sign in with Google. We wait a moment because that's automatic. Sometimes you have to pick the Google account. I've just done it, so it will skip all that and take me to this template page, kind of my ClipChamp hub. If I scroll down to my videos, do you remember we went through this green screen 2-1 last time? And I put a star's background shooting kind of flames background behind this lady using the green screen filter. So all good. So BT, BTW, S. Robbie, you're all on a media, bit of two. Okay, let me just, I'm going to go through it quickly again, and then we're going to do a Kahoot. It's just five questions. And then I'm going to let you guys get on with your own green screen until the end of the lesson. So um, I'm going to delete everything in here. So let's just make out uh, my project is blank, guys. Okay. I'm going to go down to stop video. I'm going to pick a green screen. And this is in the perfect for green screen footage. Just pick, pick this guy. He looks like a cool guy. Add that to the timeline. So now I have that green screen in my timeline. Now, if I click on that bit of footage within the timeline, then go up to filters, scroll down all the way to green screen. There we go. We've taken the background out. So everybody, how, how are we doing with that? Cat, why have you got a uh, crying face? What's that? Can I put the link because it goes really, really slow? Okay, I'll need you good for that, yeah? Okay, I'm just going to go do the next step quickly. You can't export it? Okay, it doesn't matter because I want you guys to make a new green screen video after we do the Kahoot. And then uh, next lesson we'll go into exporting it, etc. so we can show ourselves each other's green screens in the last lesson. I'm just going to wait for this person to type and then we're going to move on. No pressure. Of course you, uh, no, this us stick to green screen cap, if that's okay. Try, try and be creative, make something else, put a new background in. Robbie's all good, okay, cool. Let me just show you quickly. So how would we put, so now we've got the green screen out of there. What do we do? How do we put a background video in there? Well, let's go back to stock video, all categories. Let's go to three forever. And you can put anything, let's put, yeah, that's quite a cool one. Let's put some clovers behind it. Okay, so that's been added to the timeline, I think, or to my media. Okay, cool. So let's set the cookies down there. So now what I do is I green clover fields. I'm going to click and drag it to sit underneath my green screen video. Okay, if it goes on top, the green screen effect won't work because you won't be able to see the man. So if it's underneath, it means that your green screen man, well, not anymore, is on top, and there you've got the clover background, the forest background. Okay, amazing. Cool. Well, I thought I'd show you it again, because now I'm going to end that, and we're going to do a quick Kahoot. Let me create that. Oh, no, sorry. Let me go back. One second, guys. Let's play that. Teach. That's it. Okay. Cool. Let me share that with you guys. Okay. So, so go over to kahoot.it 2839104. Let me put it in the chat for you guys on the Unpin Clip Champ. Kahoot.it. Just to see if you do, you're all telling me you know about the green screen. Okay. Let's see if this Kahoot proves it. If you could all join, guys. 2839104, Kahoot.it. Kalina first in. Well done. Want to see you all in there. The quicker we do this, only five questions, guys. It's mainly about the green screen. A couple of trick questions in there.
Okay, no problem, Ignacio. Oh, okay, maybe we will do another five minute challenge on Amini. That's a good idea. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna give you five minutes after the Kahoot to make a green screen. How about that? And the first two or three links in the chat will be shown. Because I've got to watch them first. No, it's not Kalina. There's only five questions on this Kahoot. And um, then I'm going to let you make your own green screens. Uh, we're going to give you five minutes to do it as well. Kalina, are you all good with how the green, green screen works? Well, that, this is this Kahoot's just checking your green screen knowledge. It's a different type of Kahoot this time. It's not the same one we've done in the last two lessons. Yeah, we'll go through that on a MIDI. Don't even worry about that. Is that everybody in there? Let me count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It seems like there's nine of you. So two more to join. Come on, guys. Join the Kahoot. Two, eight, three, nine, one, oh, four. It's okay, Kevin. Nice one, Simona. Nice one, Kalina. Let me have a quick look at it. While we wait for everybody to join, I think we've got one more person. Oh, it hasn't gone up. Only six of you in now. There's less of you in. Are we all in? Are we all in? It's a really quick kahoot, guys. We don't want to take longer getting everybody in. Amazing. Okay, I think we're just going to go with it. We're going to start the Kahoot green screen. I made this one today, by the way, so it's very relevant to what we've been doing in the last lessons. Okay, one out of five. What does a green screen allow you to do? Have a colored screen, put multiple videos in, remove the background of the video, edit the video. 20 seconds, guys. Not have a coloured screen, guys, come on. It's so we can remove the background of the video. Floofy Meow first, Lemon Kahoot second, Agent 666 third, um, Cat fourth, and Emoji fifth. Okay, here we go. True or false? We use Kip Champ to edit our videos. Just 10 seconds to answer this one, guys. Yes, it's true. All of you got it right. I would expect nothing else. Very easy question. Nice one. Okay. Clip Champ is a editor, browser based video editor, video editing application, photo editor. We've been through this a lot of times. So, what type of editor is it? Isn't that everybody who's answered? It should have uh, moved on. Okay, amazing, it's a browser-based editor. Yes, you're right. Agent top, flu fee second, cat third, lemon fourth, um, angry emoji fifth. This is a double points question. How do I remove the green screen in clip channel? Use the stock footage, filters and pick the green screen, use a filter, none of these. Very good, filters and pick the green screen, very good. Nice one, nice one. Bear now on the leaderboard. Last one, 16 by nine is not an aspect ratio, true or false? It's false. 16 by nine is an aspect ratio. Guys, let's see what, how we've done there. Green screen, podium. I'm gonna go through it quickly because we've got more stuff to do. Flo Floofy Meow, third. Second, Cat. First is Agent, okay. Well done. Who's fourth and fifth? Uh, angry and face emoji and bear. Well done, guys. Very well done. 
Okay, so we all pretty know our green, green stuff, don't we? Uh, one thing I need to show you is how to export the video quickly. So let me share my screen with you again, guys. And then we're going to start a five minute challenge. There we go, guys. So you're thinking, how do I export this? Well, click on export. And 480 standard continue. So just leave this as it is. You don't on the star ones we can't do, guys. So 480p is standard continue. It's going to ask you about this. You're going to say no. Oh wait, it didn't let me uh, continue. I think it might be because. One second, I'm not sure what's going on here. Okay. So it's me to download. Okay, or you can just create a sharing link here. Copy link, and then you put it in the chat. Sorry guys, that is quite confusing. It's got quite a lot of ads on there at the end. So um, I'll be all good with how to do that. Do you think we could do a five minute challenge and you can create the link like that to show me guys? Yeah, you okay on the BB? Kalina, do you think you can do, you can, oh yeah, I think you've already done it, haven't you? So guys, I'm gonna cancel that. And here we are. So guys, you see what I've done? You've all got five minutes to do it, starting. So guys, who remembers a five minute challenge? Can we put in the chat what a five minute challenge is? Also, I'm gonna get a timer up actually for you. That's stop clock. Sorry guys. Yeah, I am gonna put on a five minute, I am gonna put on a timer in two seconds. So guys, I want you all to make a green screen video in five minutes and I will share the top two or three, uh, the first two or three links that are in there. So fastest to get it done first before the five minutes, we'll get it showed. But I want you to do what I've done today, put a green screen video, put a background behind it in five minutes. Yeah, new project, or you can just delete everything out of that project and make the new one in there. But a new project, yes, please, guys. Uh, don't uh, put in, okay, yeah, we'll get there. Don't you worry, guys. So give me two minutes, I'm gonna, uh, one minute, I'm gonna quickly set the stopwatch. Okay, that's ready. I'm gonna share it with you guys. I'm gonna give you a countdown and we're gonna go. So let's end that. Share the stopwatch. Sorry guys, I wasn't expecting to do the five minute challenge, but it was a really good idea. You can all see the stopwatch on there. Okay guys, let's go three, two, are we all ready? New project, get your new projects ready now. I'm gonna give you five seconds to get your new projects ready. You're all ready to go? All right, three, two, one, five minutes to make a green screen. Three, two, one, go. No spamming, guys. Come on, you need to concentrate on your videos. Thirty seconds gone, guys. Thirty seconds gone. Keep giving you warning, guys. I know the stop the stopwatch is up. Five minute challenge, guys. Who can make their green screen video the fastest? Who remembers what we've done over the last three lessons? Nearly a minute gone, guys. Nearly a minute gone. You haven't already done it, have you, Simona? No way. Oh, nice one, Simona. You want to leave yourself a minute to support to export, guys. Um, okay, cool. A minute, 
A minute, a minute's gone. Uh, four minutes left, guys. Well done, Simona. Let me check it now for you while uh, the stopwatch is going down. See if it's all good to share. Okay, yeah, that is pretty good. That is pretty good. Nice one, Simona. Definitely be sharing that. So Simona managed to do it within two minutes. Um, that's a good point. I don't think so. I mean, yeah, maybe actually. <laughs> maybe actually, Simona. You might want to put a different video in there if you've got time because I might not be able to share it. It is very good. It is a very good video. I've seen where you, the way you've utilized the green screen is excellent. Guys, two minutes gone, three minutes left. Let's do this five minute challenge. Five minute challenge. If you can do the five minute challenge with a green screen, it means you know how to use the green screen in clip chat. And it means we can move on the next lesson and actually learn some more stuff. Nice one, Simona. Oh, cats in there. Let's see what's happened there. Oh, they're still processing your video, so I'll check that for you in a minute, Cat. Nice one, Ignacio. Nice one. Well done. I will, I will. I'm just waiting for it to process, Cat. Cool. Two minutes left almost, guys. Ten seconds, and we've got three minutes gone. Five minute challenge. Five minute challenge. <laughs> Can you do it? What have you learned over the last three lessons? This is basically what this is. It all comes down to this five minute challenge. Two minutes left, guys. Remember, you want to give yourself a minute to export, guys. So, somebody want to start exporting that new one? Let me see if Cat's one is processed. Still not processed, uh, your one, Cat. <laughs> yeah, that's very good. Very good. Like that. Like that a lot. Okay, that's definitely the show. Well done, Simona. One minute left, guys. One minute left. One minute left. One minute left. Well, one minute and ten seconds. Well, ten seconds, and it's one minute. So at the moment, Simona's one's definitely being shown. I will show cats if it uh, loads on time. If not, I'll show it at the next lesson for you. Remember, guys, there needs to be a green screen used in it, okay? Or well, maybe that is that. Yeah, it is actually, isn't it? No, it's not. That's, doesn't seem like the green screen's been used there, guys. Uh, okay. Let me have a look at the cats. 30 seconds left. 30 seconds left, guys. 30 seconds left. Okay, yeah. That's been used. Well done. Cool. So, so, so far, Simona's and cats. <laughs> okay. Okay. I'll have a look at it. It's quite nice. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. Three, two, one. Okay, let's clear that. Okay, guys, well done. Well done. It's a bit of a big link there, Robbie. Okay, Cat. Okay, let me show some owners first. Just make sure it's the white one. Okay, very good. Guys, I'm going to show the top three projects that were sent in first and that are showable, by the way. If it's not showable, it's not my fault. Okay, nice one. I'll I'll have a look at yours in a second as well. Let's just share Simona's. So I thought it was actually quite a good one. So here we go, guys. Here's Simona, she's used the green screen in the middle of this YouTube type overlay and put uh, some video in the middle, which is kind of cool. Nice one, Simona. 
is a cute cuddly cat very well done yeah it's a great example of how to use this green screen i think everybody should give simona a clap for that actually i want to see some clap emojis in there okay cool guys um let's have a look at cats quickly let's double check that and see if it's all processed a uh, short example here of how to use a green screen. So we're going to show cats. Remember, guys, I'm only showing three. Let's have a look. Well, that's quite good. She's used like a subscribe button over pictures and a moving arrow green screen, which I think is kind of cool. Cats are very popular in today's chat, aren't they? <laughs> in today's videos. So nice one, Kat. Well done. Give you a clap for that one. Well done. Okay, I'm going to look at Olamides because uh, Kalina's done. Let's have a look at Kalina's as well. Oh, very good. Let's show Kalina's. I'll show yours as well, Olamides, because we've got time. So this is Kalina's, she's seen, she's added video into the green screen on the computer page, which is really cool actually, I quite like it. Very good, very good, very, very good. Great example of how to use the green screen, Kalina, well done, you've learned. It's spot on. Okay, guys, I'm gonna look at one more, because we have to move on, yeah, well done. Clap, clap, clap. Very good, Kalina. Very good. Okay. Um, who else are we looking at? Let me go back to Olimidi's link because I haven't looked at that yet. Here we go. <laughs> cool. Let's share that quickly. So we're going to look at Olimidi's one last because he had his, actually had his link in third. And as you can see there, he's put some lights over some sparklers with the countdown there. Very, very cool. And you see what I mean? It actually shows you that possibilities with green screens are pretty endless. And you can create pretty much anything. Well done, Olamide. Another clap. Let me see uh, if I can show yours, uh, Rob, Rob, as well. Let's see what's going on there. Unfortunately, Rob, you know, I can't actually show that in this lesson. The five minute challenge was for the green screen only. So guys, if we are all good with our green screens, give me a one in the chat. Cool, nice one, Kalina. Nice one, Simona. Nice one, Minecraft, Robbie. Nice one, Kat. Nice one. Yeah, yeah, I know, but do you know what? Because it's, it's a bit long as well, Robbie. I'll take a look at it and I'll give you an email about that one. Just because I need to, it's a long one, I need to go all the way through it and check it. But it's good, it's definitely good. What's up, with, uh, Mr. Hines is in here. What, what, what's the matter? Um, low, 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 low. Yeah, I liked it very much, Key. It was very good. Oh, there he is, he's coming back. You can see his. Uh... How you doing, Mr. Hines? Looks particularly happy today. It's frozen. Can you hear me? <laughs> Not even. Oh. No, I can't. I can't. Okay, so um, <laughs> <laughs> so you want me to reset the whole lesson again. <laughs> the beginning. So, guys, I just want to let them know we're going to go through some fundamentals of video editing and video and um, stuff like that, and do a kahoot on it next week because we've done such a good job. I went through the green street green stuff so quickly. You've all learned it very well. If you have any trouble with it, actually, please email me or Mr. Hines on the You Teach Me email, and I'll try and email you back as quick as possible. Yeah, it is a long word, but it's something we all need to learn. You know, we're going off doing the green screen. What type of video are we using? You know, what type of music are we using? Where's the source of this? What's the source of video editing? What type of, what words do we use in different video editors, which is universal across all editors? These are the things we're gonna learn next week, guys. Um, so just Mr. prepare Sims, it. Can I interject? Yeah. Sorry. Uh, Simona, have you shown Mr. Sims that video? Have you seen that yet? 
Which one? Which one are we looking at this time? Simona's. Have a look at Simona's video and screen share it, please. I think we might have already seen it. Yeah, this one's Simona with you in it. Yeah. <laughs> screen share. <laughs> screen share. <That's> screen share. <laughs> Very good, Simona. Very good. <laughs> Love that. <laughs> Love that one. I got well, baited. Sims is going to show it now. He's going to share it, screen share it now, guys. Great video. Great video, Simona. Guys, I'm so impressed with your green screen. Like Mr. Sim said, you know, the green screen has really does have. Uh, just scroll up a little bit, sir, if you can. Yes, it is, Mr. Sim. That's very good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what? That was one of my worst lighting weeks ever, Simona. Oh, Thank yeah. That... For that. I was having real trouble with the sun. <laughs> and I fell ill. <laughs> hey, Simona, that's a great video. It is a fantastic exactly video. Like, that could be an introduction video to new children of how their whole system works, really. Wow, I've got a thousand million, one hundred million views. It's a billion, isn't it? Billion views. Wow, that's amazing. Billion yeah, views. It? Well done, Simona. Yeah, exactly. Well done. Very good. Very, very good. Mr. Sims nice is, one, Simona. is a great subject there. Guys, can we have a big TYSM <laughs> for Mr. Sims? That was fantastic. And you obviously got your five your five minute challenge in there for your green screen. And I think the green screens are working really, really well. I mean, I didn't even know you could do green screen on Clipchamp. That's amazing. And now you know that you any any time you can just go. Bang, I know how to do green screen, green screen, go on Clipchamp, set it up, no problem. Really simple. Um, I'm so impressed, actually, to be quite honest with you guys. I didn't, to be honest, Mr. Sims told me, obviously, he told me about the green screen class and uh, lesson. I was like, so are you going to get the children to buy their own green screen and film their own green screen? No, he proved me wrong. And he went in there and he showed you guys exactly how you can do it all on Clipchamp, which is fantastic. Really happy about that, guys. So, um, Really, really good. Great. Yeah, exactly. A big TYSM for Mr. Sims. Um, Sasha, you've got the website, so you should be absolutely fine. Any more questions for Mr. Sims before he goes? Let us know. Sasha loves to do a little bit of a uh, spam. spam. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll let him Don't do that. Don't worry. I can f go through your messages. Lovely. Amazing. Bye, YouTube. <laughs> Brilliant. No, no, fantastic. Fantastic. This is my video for the five minute challenge. Kalina. I think we already have one for Kalina, but I'll have another look at it quickly. I think I have you. seen this one, Kalina, with the ladybug. I'm pretty oh, sure. Oh, yeah, yeah. It was really good, wasn't it? Yeah, it's obviously very good, though. Very, very good. Very good. So, did you put the two videos on top of each other? Is that right, Kalina? Let me know. Yeah, she took the green screen out of the computer screen and added the ladybug in there instead. Uh, Ignacio, that didn't work. But anyway, guys, I, I can't take any more of Mr. Sims's time up. He is a very busy and very expensive young man. So um, what I'd like to do... <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so, guys, this, yeah, we've had a big TYSM for Mr. Sims. Let's say goodbye to Mr. Sims. Thank, Thank you, all guys. Sims. Thank you again. And tomorrow you have Miss Boucherine for your 3D modeling lesson, which is going to be fantastic. And tomorrow we'll look at that CSS and we're going to start centering everything on our CSS. And if we have time, we're going to put some YouTube videos in there. Okay. Brilliant, guys. Fantastic. We've got two more weeks, I believe. Let's double check. Yes. Two more weeks. Okay. So let's get, let's, uh, let's try that, uh, try our best to get as much work done as possible because I, We've got about six lessons, and I really want to make sure that we have this completed by then. Okay, maybe we want to speed it up. I might. We'll see how we see what we can do. We might try and speed it up a little bit. All right. Thank you very much, guys. See you tomorrow with Miss Boucherine, and let's get ready for to do our three D modeling. Have a good evening, and I'll see you tomorrow. Take care. Bye bye. Bye. <laughs>